Hello and welcome back everyone. And fourth year with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Fallon here, my Imperial agent on the prologue World of Hotter. Where we last left off, we were pushing the back and impeding Fafra the Hutt's plans to share, <laughs> using the word loosely, the uh, gas pocket that Nemra the Hutt is tapping and refining into explosives, I believe it was. Uh, we've let uh, one of Nemro's lieutenants know that it was actually our act in doing so. And he can report the good news to Nemro, hopefully raising his status in the eyes of the hut there. Either way, we're back in our room. Unfortunately, it seems someone was trying to install more listening devices. We, s we interrupted them installing one under the bed, but there may be others lying around we don't know if they were successful or if we had interrupted them just as they were beginning their task either way we need a report to keep her and see if there's any updates to our mission i understand number of gas production is back on schedule agent excellent work Keep it up and Darth Jadis may loosen his grip on operations. However, I'm afraid unforeseen circumstances have caused a problem. You mean the people who broke into my room? No, that's a separate matter and one I advise you to watch closely. But it isn't what concerns me now. Three days ago, Carl's Jarvis' sons encountered a Sith apprentice in Imperial space. A dispute broke out. One son died and the other was crippled. When Carlos hears that a Sith slaughtered his child, his sympathy for the Empire will evaporate. We can no longer use him to get to Nemro. Can we keep him from finding out? No. Carlos is close to his sons and the circumstances of the encounter aren't exactly secret. He'll learn sooner or later. Now, I have a plan to solve our present dilemma, but first we need Carlos out of the way. I'll handle it. I'm sending you an interference program on a computer spike. Go to Carol's suites in the palace. Activate the spike to black out his security monitors. You'll be able to eliminate Carol's and his bodyguards without being seen. When Nemro's people investigate, they'll recognize the jamming program as Republic technology. Let's hear some more. Tarthalish and Nemro's Twi'lek advisor already expect Fathera to seek revenge for the destruction of his mines. Our job is to show that the Republic helped Fathra kill Carols. Once Carols is gone, speak to Tarthlishen about his suspicions. As Carols' friend, you'll promise to do whatever it takes to find the assassins. Time to get to work. For now, get to Carols' suites and use the computer spike. We'll discuss more once Carols is eliminated and Tarthlishen's suspicions have been aroused. Keep her out. <laughs> Ooh. There's a lot of things that I've just completed. Oh! We completed the tutorial quest to unlock, I'm sorry, to complete a conquest. And we completed this week's uh, conquest objective. We gained the 50,000 experience required. So yeah, introduction to conquests quest was completed. Gain the codex entry into energy, which I think is our unique resource. Various credits, various credits, a computer spike, or security spike I should say. Yeah, Republic issue. Suitable for disabling the security door to Carol's suite. And we also gain these rewards for completing the conquest. Oh no, no, this is this is actually the rewards from the introduction to conquest. Grants four hundred fleek requisition. Oh, for use in Galactic Starfighter, which I never really do. 
some Warzone Adrenals and Warzone Med Packs for when you're doing PvP. Some crafting materials and 10,000 credits. And then, for completing the conquest, we gain some gathering decorations for if we had a stronghold, if we had a home of our own. Some armor, 100,000 credits, an experience booster, and some companion gifts. Level 14, happy days. And that was the, uh, this is the, for the quest completion. We got a new uh, jacket. Bloody hell. Okay, so. Companion gifts. Um, yeah, sure. We'll store those away at some point in the future. Decorations. All these things to sell. Experience booster. I'm gonna sell that. Crafting materials. Crafting have their own inventory now. That didn't used to be the case. Uh, what's in this lockbox? Full set of requisition tar. Well, uh, some requisition targeters armor. Hmm. Ah, uh, very well. <clears throat> right, let's go uh, deal with Carol, shall we? Oh, two bobbins. Sorry about that. Let's install this security spike. Auto tank here. Normally you would place someone inside and they would heal over time if they were badly wounded. But we could break it and actually gain some of the healing culto. What's going on here? You thought you'd just go and switch sides? Damn you! I'm sorry, Carols. It's nothing personal. I don't understand. I helped you. I trusted you. We had a bond. And now you murder my men, wave a weapon in my face? But I guess that doesn't matter much. So let's go. You and me, Blade. The young punk against the old gang leader. I wish it could have been different. You deserve better. You think you're the first piece of scum who's tried to kill me? I was fighting thugs in Jaguna streets when I was half your age. I can handle you. If I was anyone else, you'd probably be right. Heard the commotion. Nachumanigori, Nana Dota, Dabita Wanawanda. 
piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. Tiska tenaga la ni tiko spa ini kudade. Nun chaki chawa, choto ge kwanga joska. Chakita huta, kunta chuta, kaso ya li kuli ra, kanki kung. What are you talking about? Carol's is dead? Manchi do ti puna puna, kabok nuni slemo. Kabano tase makipuna, mali tuta od mishka. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. I'll do whatever it takes to bring the killers to justice. Mana matota jispa micho. Kliska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Yinga yinga kijita, nimni tanuv alelo kwekuta. Kunta chuta, kaso ya li kuli ra, kanki kung. Oka kiza spida perupa, kadwa shiniko higa danulia. I'll look into it. Might take some time. Patoga wata kiko uba kili wata buki donko. Buka kampak nijit tonka yiliska chanaga. You notice also who was standing in the background there, watching the situation unfold. So, this is where you've been hiding. Nice. Is the blood on the floor fresh, or did that come with the room? What are you doing here, Kaleo? What? Not glad to see me? You've been all over town racking up quite a body count. And I know what you did to Carol's. You're after something bigger than Emro. I'm not sure what, and I'm not sure why. But I want in on it. You just made your last mistake, Galeo. I think I've got a few mistakes left in me. Too bad you don't want to be a part of them. Hold a moment, Agent. Violence may not be necessary. Hmm. What's this now? We know who you are, Kaleo Janus. And we are willing to offer you a deal. I am Keeper. I represent Imperial Intelligence, as does my operative. We are aware of your activities on Rat Attack, Ord Mantell, and Brentall 4, as well as your affiliations. Your skills could prove useful, and we are willing to offer you a place in our ranks. You would become a very well-paid servant of the Empire. I've heard worse propositions. What do you think, Agent? You want me on your side? Frankly, killing you seems a lot simpler. Might just get the chance another time. But your boss just offered me a free ride, and who am I to say no to that? Count me in. But call me a servant of the Empire again, and I'll bust your face. Charming. We'll discuss the details later. As for you, Agent, Tarthalijan is convinced that Bathra the Hutt is a major threat to business. Well done. Now we must bring Tarthalijan proof that Bathra has support from the Republic. The first step is to obtain a hollow disk from Bathra's palace. The disc contains hollow recordings of all Fathra's dealings. The Hutt is too paranoid for his own good. You'll have to break into his archive to get it. It'll mean lifting security coats off the palace overseers. Like you said, paranoid Hutt. Noted. Once you reach the archives, use this computer spike on the hollow disc. It will be altered to show Fathra meeting with Republic officers. Then bring the forgery to Tothlijan. Forging evidence is risky business, Keeper. We have decided that the risk is acceptable. With Tarthlijan convinced that his enemies are allied with the Galactic Republic, have no doubt. He will turn to us for help. We are in the endgame. Ilya will accompany you on this mission and will act under your command. Last time I went to Father's Palace, I had so many adrenals in my system I was coming down for a week. 
This should be entertaining. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not sure how we are gonna get along All with right, Kelio. So she seems like someone that um we would prefer just to uh, get rid of. She's not quite professional, but we may find a use for her. So, Kaleo, it used to be, back in the day again, that certain classes, certain uh, companions, I should say, had certain roles. Uh, for example, there is a Twi'lek, if you're playing as a Sith warrior, you recruit a vet. She could only, her only role was a DPS, dealing damage. Now, I think it was with the Knights of the Fallen Empire expansion, our companions got a, re a retooling. They were made extremely powerful. Ridiculously powerful. And they were given all three roles. So they can either heal, which gives them some unique healing abilities. They can be a tank, which gains them more aggro and deals a little bit of damage. Or they can deal damage. Um, damage has a unique ability, I believe. Yeah. Similar to our takedown ability. Kaleo, he has dead eye shot. It has a 20 second cooldown, but in combat, that comes up quite often. It's 30% health or less. Basically, she deals a blow which will most likely kill most enemies you encounter, and this damage will only increase as your level and your presence increases. We'll talk about companions and their ranking later on I imagine we can also um, change Kaleo's outfit if we so wish it used to be that you would have to change their armor you can see that the key stats are now greyed out um, they only really get stat bonuses from presence now and how your influence is or how your influence works on them but you can change their appearance and uh, their clothing to a degree. You can also change um, how they appear. So there's some customization available. I might keep, uh, I think we'll keep it to Kaleo as a default. I normally like to keep my companions mostly default in appearance. We gained a new sniper rifle. Right, so, level 15, we have a few new abilities, we'll um, go see our class trainer, once we're out of Nemro's palace. So, there's a few people who would like to have a word with us, like Urgrek here. Hey, you, I understand you've been working for Nemro, I mean... I've seen you coming in and out of this place often enough. So, am I right or am I wrong? Are you working for the big guy? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Name's Urgrek. You might have heard about the Nemro's little menagerie and the beast pens down beneath. I'm the guy who keeps the beast pens stocked. Thought you might be interested in a little business proposition. Help me, help Nemro, help yourself a little in the process. But it'll take strength. And guts! How do I fit in? The big guy wants a rancor. All the big time huts have him. Nemro wants one. You're gonna get him one. Now I know you're thinking, a rancor? How's somebody gonna snare a rancor? Seven meters tall, capable of swallowing a person in a single gulp. But don't you worry. I got it all figured out. I don't think I'm going to like this. Stick with me here. Father is no good beast tamers already procured a ranker egg. Now we can't have that egg hatching and Father getting a full grown ranker before Nemro. I need someone to steal that egg and destroy the eggs of his other creatures. Teach that beast tamer a lesson. Can you handle it? I'll take care of it. Great. I thought you'd go for it. You have that telling glint in your eye. There's just uh, one more little thing you should know. The egg is in the back of Fathra's beast chambers. Meaning, you'll have to do a bit of fighting to get it. But nothing you can't handle, right? 
Good luck! Delightful. Actually, once we get out of the palace, we'll look at the... the music, gotta love the smells. We survive all this, you owe me a drink. <laughs> when we get out of the palace, we'll have a look at the companion tab. Talk about influence. You'll notice that one of our dialogue options had a pop-up where Kaleo disagreed with our, uh, rather reluctant agreement to do this quest. Let's give it a moment for that guild pop-up to disappear. Thank you. So which one is it again? This one. Companions and contacts. It's more important later on uh, because you can recruit companions, but that's way in the future. Either way, this gives you an idea, some uh, like a small codex entry on obviously companions and other contacts in the future. So Kaleo here, we know she's female. She's a Ranataki. We believe she's about 29 years old. She likes disrespecting authority, casual violence and anarchy for the fun of it. She dislikes self-sacrifice for the greater good, sincerity, obedience, the patriotic spirit and being taken advantage of. So for the most part, she's not going to like us. And then we have a bit of background here. Obviously, feel free to pause and have a read of this to yourself if you so desire. She's worked for a variety of criminal organizations, various anarchist cells. She enjoys her freedom and will lie, murder, and blackmail in order to ensure she has control of a situation. Has been known to bite when disarmed. Lovely. Oh, so anyway. So, when you complete certain quests, whether or not you've made choices that Kaleo may approve or disapprove of, if she was your companion at the time, you will gain so much influence. If I got over 400 influence, she would rank up to a maximum of 50. Each time she ranks up, uh, we get more presents when we summon her as our companion. And if we send her away on crew missions, those missions could be completed more quickly compared to some other companions. I know every trick of the trade. Okay, so we can increase our maximum energy by 10. Very useful. We have this adrenaline probe. Two minute cooldown, but summons a droid to recover 50 energy over three seconds. Very handy. And then we have this heroic moment. Five minute cooldown. While you have a companion, you can seize the moment of restoring 2% of your maximum health every 3 seconds for 2 minutes. Trust no one. It's a pretty much an oh shit button that you can press when things are going horribly wrong or you've bitten off more than you can chew. Nice to see customers. Can I get you anything? Feel free to browse. Here would like to also have a word. Hey, you there. You look like my kind of person, if you know what I mean. Appearances can be deceiving. There's not a soul on Hutta who is who he says he is. But don't you worry, I won't be asking any prying questions. I have a little job that needs doing with a big reward for the doer. My buddy's been taken captive, see, and I'm looking to buy a rescue. My buddy Oren's a world-class Mandalorian Jedi killer. He went into Fathra's on account he heard the hut was hoarding some kind of treasure. But he ended up frozen in carbonite and hanging as a trophy on Fathra's wall. I was hoping you could help him down. Frozen in carbonite? Care to explain that? It's, well, it's, uh, he stuck solid in a brick of carbonite in a kind of suspended animation, just waiting to be thawed. I expect he's hanging in Fathra's gallery. Unfortunately, something about being frozen like my buddy's been makes you lose your sight for a spell. But you just thaw him out, and I'll come in after you cleared the path. I'm not exactly a fighter, see, but my buddy's sickness isn't your problem. Deal? 
anything to stick it to a hut. Great, thanks. And try to be stealthy about it. No sense getting all of Fothra's guards breathing down our necks. Good luck! <laughs> yeah, again, about that. If we were playing as an operative, maybe that would be on the cards, but... What the hell level are you? Show me. Oh, you're only level 10. Hmm. Seeing some uh, skills I thought I'd only see at a higher level. Either way, we need to get ourselves to the worker camp outside of the rust yards now. And on our way to Fafra's palace. We are not responsible for missed departures. Hey you! I want to talk to you. You headed into Fathra's palace? If you're crazy enough to go in there, we might be able to help each other out. Interested in making a few credits? You look a little shady to me. Who are you? I work for Nimro. My partner did too, till he bought it, there in the palace. He snuck in as a maintenance worker to plant transmitters on the cleaning droids. The idea was, we'd use these transmitters to track the movements of the droids. As the droids clean the floors and walls, they map out every nook and cranny. We were hoping to find secret entrances or hidden chambers in the palace. So your partner wasn't able to plant the transmitters? Actually, he was. My partner was able to plant the transmitters on the droids, but his cover was blown before he could activate them. Me? I'd be dead if I tried to go in there and finish a job. But if those transmitters don't get activated, I'm dead anyway. Nimro doesn't tolerate failure. So I'll pay you everything I've got to activate those transmitters for me. Well, I'm going to be storming the palace anyway. I'll see what I can do. All you have to do is find the cleaning droids and flip a little switch on the attached transmitter. Simple as that. I'll wait for you here. Good luck. Okay. We have plenty of things to do, and that's not even including any bonus missions that may pop up as we start our assault. We have at least one mission, that's the cleaning droid mission. To defeat 18 of Fafra's forces. This palace is here. Level 16 for our next. Uh next ability in our discipline path. Normally when you would leave your prologue world you'd probably be level 11, maybe 13 at a push back in the day you'd, depending on how much you depending on what world you started on. Some are easier than others. Nowadays it's quite easy to uh, gain experience. You'll also notice that even though we are level 15, we have been world shifted down to level 10. Our stats as well, now that they're gold, means they've been capped. Uh, normally they'd be green, indicating that they've been boosted by our weapons and armor. But at, at the moment, our attributes are capped on this world. This is going to be true for a lot of the game, because we're always going to be over leveled compared to the the level that the world we're visiting, which still means the world can be a bit of a challenge because we're not going to be as strong as we naturally should be. And yeah, before they introduce like level sinking or world sinking. You could, like, pretty much just run through the earlier levels, and if you just poked someone, even with your basic attack, that didn't use your unique resource, you would kill them. 
We have to make it a bit more balanced. Not so tough now, dirtbag. They've tried to balance it anyway. There's still areas that are uh, some of the enemies are exceedingly easy, but then there's some areas where the enemies are surprisingly difficult. Father's palace. Same hut style, a lot more firepower. Ready to go in when you are. So we need to deal with uh, security. We actually have a hot frozen in carbonite. Find some of the uh, the uh, lead lieutenants, the overseers, to get the access codes to the archive room. Level sixteen. Right. So we have zeroing shots. Snipe zeros in your sights, reducing the activation time of your next ambush by a quarter of a second. Okay, so normally it's two seconds, but using two snipes brings it down to a second and a half. Okay, handy. Someone else is in here. Oh, we have one of these cleaning droids. Transmitter activated. You want some of this? Take that up access code, thank you. And the other two cleaning droids are down in these chambers. complete so far. We'll head down to the beast pens first. Gotta get a, get a hold of that Rancor egg. Mission to defeat six chem lizards. Come on out, I'll show you my gun. Oh, okay. Totally forgot that I um, used to be commands to uh, have Kaleo attack. And I think I've swapped them over. Hmm. I'll have to adjust that. I used to have, um, I think Control 1 and Control 2 used to give your companion 
the command to attack or to uh, disengage from combat. So we got the uh, Rancor Egg. Stored in a portable incubator. Let's find the galleries. This person we need to rescue. The archives is relatively close by as well. <laughs> that was the dead eye shot of uh, Kaleo there. So, we have a law object here, but carbonite uh, freezing. Uh, let's go on for Owen. Why can't I see anything? If you're one of Father's goons, I swear I'll... Shut up before Father's guards shut us both up. Blast Father and his guards. Get away from me. I can handle myself. If only I could see. Can't someone turn on a light? It's not the lights. You're blind, you idiot. You've got hibernation sickness. What? Hibernation sickness? Blast it. Blast it. Forget it. Sorry. Thank you for getting me out of there. Just wasn't sure I could trust you. Look, I came in here to find a stash father said to be hiding. I found the key to the stash, but as soon as I grabbed it, I got froze. Take the key and the stash as your reward for saving my life. As for me, I'll call my pal Burnock. Think I'll be safe waiting here for him to help me out. Burnock may not look like much, but he's dependable to a fault. Besides, you seem to have cleared the place well enough. Anyway, thanks again. Maybe I'll see you back in Jaguna at Old Nemro's. <laughs> Yes. Burnock said go in stealthily, but Owen says, looks like we've cleared the place out. Indeed we have. Oh, bloody hell, hi. <laughs> Enemies respawning during a conversation. <laughs> so before we head over to the archive, we have a phase gate here for playing as a bounty hunter. And there is a target we were going to be using as bait in there. So that we could get the. Uh, get Num Nemro's token. And he has the stash. You. Don't know what's inside, but Burnock should be able to open it for us. Right, let's go find that hollow disc. Blaster rifle. Can you wield a sniper rifle? I think she might be able to. Mm, I sold my space. Uh, yeah, she probably could. Malambiangin, Hangam Nea Bekabrakawa. 
Mana la yang perlu. Amkat kalami naya kira nubua. Hello, Nan. What brings you down here? Father finally ordered you to check out the shooting? Nuli lak apa jam kamgram. Amka nem nang nemua inuk. Kali ruma. Mereka baka lebik ruma. I like that about you, Nan. You only bet on a sure thing. Jam gam nukara nukara. Kam nam gam gek arega naya. I take it you two know each other. Nan wanted me for himself when I got to Hara. He couldn't afford me. Lapo ram amka. Mamni nigak. Nagnaya mamni kamgram. I've already marched across the swamps, fought Fathra's army of thugs, and invaded your palace. You really think you can stop me now? Ninyap nam nyaji, hiruk piko kam per kam nam, mam ni lebek bak manuk, meraka naja ki nama bamyak. Hmm, aren't you forgetting something, Nan? Seems like you're getting off light. And there was that game of Pazak we never finished. Mim ilik meraka, nayanaram, kam kalu amik manik. Just get out of here and don't cause me any trouble. Mim ilik meraka, nayanaram, kam kalu amik manik. So I'm guessing he is one of Fafra's lieutenants, similar to Carol's and Toflajen, or Nemro's. That's it, then. Better hope your boss knows how to make a convincing forgery. Of course. There's going to be a bloodbath once Nemro and Toflajen see what's on the disc. How do you know what's on the hollow disc? All I know is what your keeper told us. But I'm not stupid. If that disc really names all of Fathra's business partners, it probably identifies half the people in Jaguna. Merchants, gangsters, debtors, the usual scum. When Nemro gets a hold of it, he'll want revenge on anyone who dared to go to Fathra behind his back. There'll be bodies clogging the gutters for weeks. It's brutal, but if it helps Nemro, it could help our position. It would make Nemro happy, but I doubt it'd actually help his business. Different things. If you're feeling queasy, you could always erase the extra data and scratch up the disk. Make it look like only the doctored recording miraculously survived the damage. So, we deliver Keeper's forgery without the real data. Nemro doesn't get his revenge spree. The risk is that Toflogen figures out you erased the good stuff. I'm not endangering the mission to protect the lowlifes of Hutter. Ah, oh, aren't we dedicated? I knew I'd learn something about you on this mission. Now let's get that thing to Toflogen and see what happens. There we are. I think that's everything here complete. Uh, yes. To get ourselves back to the worker camp, let a uh, Sai know that the cleaning droid transmitters have been activated. You made it! Good work. The transmitters are all broadcasting beautifully. Once I've got all the data, I can finally get out of here. Here, your payment. Everything I've got, just like I promised. <laughs> Small price to pay to keep breathing, right? Thanks for your help. Hmm. Totally good how we had to learn a new ability because we had leveled up. That's fine. Um, we are not responsible for missed departures. Gets us over to the entrance of Jaguna. Speak to Burnock and Owen. Oh, we're pretty much just ready to say goodbye to uh, Nal Hutter here. Soon it'll be cold space, followed by dreary skies, thunder clouds. Further risk of death while on friendly territory.
Well, 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 look who's here. You're the one that saved my buddy Oren. Without you, that man'd still be hanging in Father's trophy room. He's got a few scrapes, but he, he's doing pretty well. I'm very good at my work. Well, thank you anyhow. Here's your credits. And I'll tell you what, once Oren's sight is all back, we'll buy you a drink. A couple of drinks. Level 19 gets us our next utility point. Not a problem. I know every trick of the trade. So, cover pulse. Detonates an emergency charge that knocks all nearby targets back several meters and immobilizes them for five seconds. Trust no one. Very useful. You can uh, increase the uh, knockback ability as well. We knock, uh, so it knocks them back several meters, but I think it's like maybe five meters, maybe it's like ten meters with the further enhancement. Either way, let's hand over this Rancor Egg. Then hand over the undamaged Hollow Disk. Ah! Is this my favorite mercenary returning with a Rancor Egg for Nemro? What do you think? I fulfill my commitments. This will make the big guy plenty happy, which makes me happy, so I can make you happy. Here's your pay, and good work. Did you expect anything less? Oh, I guess I didn't. Thanks again. <laughs> I'm telling you, baby, I'm big time. Moving up, climbing the ladder. Hello, Tothlajan. The Red Blade claims to have something to show you. Manchi do ti puna puna, kabuk nuni slemo. Mokili mo klunki, nik mi chawa wilmo. I stole these recordings from Fathra's palace. Take a look. Poya toka changa gobtula do batawana wanki. Pliska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Nakwa no ya chioski na wiku chusu, yo mata chitoya. Kapakunga, chisa bija wongi chikato ko. That's what it looks like. What are you gonna do? Va fa baji, wanda umpa, muira bamba wura. Imache. Churon chika jiliska chanaga. Jiliska tananga ime chai jo ron chika. Is there anything else I can do for you or, or your clan? Bonda hoyachi. Dobata jimoa tusawa. Mikuna posta morulia. Jipawa do loda muma. And Nemro will deal with Fafra soon enough. Let's see if there's any updates to uh, our mission objectives now that we've handed over the hollow disc. Just keep on know anything new now that he's listening into the situation. Deed is done, Agent. Nemro is already contacting Imperial embassies looking to establish relations. He'll be eating out of our hands within the month. In the short term, our chemical and stimulant stockpiles will nearly double. In the long term, we're a step closer to bringing all of Hutter under Imperial control. I'll make my full report to Darth Jadis shortly. I expect he'll be very pleased with our work. 
That's excellent news, sir. Your future with Imperial Intelligence looks bright, but we can discuss that face to face. Your mission is now complete. There's a shuttle waiting for you in Jaguna. It will take you to Drummond Cast. Once you've arrived on planet, report to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters in the Citadel. I'll debrief you there. Acknowledged and understood. Khalil, you will also report to Drummond Cars. I assume Nemro won't be surprised by your sudden disappearance. He'll be hurt, but no one will be surprised that I left with the blade. And he's certainly not the first employer you've walked out on. In any case, I'll expect to see both of you soon. We're on our way. Good. Report to the shuttle as soon as possible. Keep her out. Here we are, mission complete. Some new boots which aren't as good as the ones we're currently wearing. That's not a problem. Okay. So, time to get ourselves away and on our way to Imperial Headquarters on Droman Cats. Time here in order, hot air is complete. trying to contact us on our personal holo communicator. Atrodo no males. Smogas total gis baba apiatai. How bad is very bad? Tatos ilderes. Vataranai ango mis akananon alas protas era. You told me the real blade was far away. What's he found out? Small seal popudus mana ira patare mana nan kali. Atrodo no males, smogas total gis baba apiatai. I appreciate the advice. Atol gi ai parkale tiam ajamas. Gritai ap tikti, irukrit, piltini savasia salvebe kaijis. Great. The true Red Blade, who was meant to be on the Outer Rim looking for new trade deals, has uh, decided to um, visit. Whether he's just randomly popping up here, or he's heard about someone using his name. So, you're the one who killed my men. The pretender who wants to be the blade. I'm no pretender. I earned my name. You think this is a joke? I'm the red blade, you worm. The real red blade. And you've got one chance to explain yourself before I burn a hole through your head. Hard to explain myself to a dead man. You're a piece of work, but you're not leaving here alive. Blade's uh, sniper rifle. No one will ever know.
Now, before we leave, this weapon is customizable. What's it today? Guns to Balmora, a whole planet full of weapon factories, and they still need more. How about you? No, I said, uh, some dumb kid thought he could run off with Nemro's favorite dancer. Didn't run nearly far enough. Hey, at least it's a short trip. He'll be back in time for a few rounds at Nemro's tomorrow. I'd better be. <laughs> so, that was a good, very quick time to talk about item modification. Some weapons and armor have various uh, item slots, which make up the various bonuses it can give you. For example, the barrel dedicates how much uh, damage a weapon will deal, but then it also boosts the attributes when equipped, same with the mod and enhancement. There's also a color crystal which you can insert. Depending on the quality of color crystal, uh, they give various uh, attribute bonuses as well. You can further modify them using an augment kit, but that's pretty much end game. It's not something we really need to play with right now. So, with that in mind, I do have a set of uh, customizable. No, I don't, I'm lying. Yes, actually, I do have a set of uh, customizable gear which we may be using in the future. I may need to transfer it over from my smuggler, though, from Nola. We'll probably do that when we finish our time on Drum and Cass. If you were a new player and didn't know anything about item modification, there's a law object here. You also use modification stations to uh, unlock the augmentation slot, I believe, or to impl or to plant the augment into the slot. Either way, it's something we don't need to worry about. Yeah, what we're going to end up doing is probably make a use of a set of adaptive armor. Um, an armor just to cover us, like the red blade gear here. here. Just so we can go on the looks. So this is the armor we're currently wearing, which has actually given us our stats. But we're probably going to have a set of armor just for the appearance. And then we'll um, actually equip some high-level gear just to boost our stats in the background. And that gear I'll probably send over from my smuggler later on. Either way, our time here in Hoda is complete. We'll do one last thing before we uh, take a break. For those of you who have seen my uh, any of my series before, you know what it is. We're going up to the Imperial Fleet, also known as Viaken Space Dock. And while at Viaken, we will give a small tour of the facility there. Via Ken, there's an inner ring where there's a cantina and various uh, storage units for storing companion gifts and armor you don't need. But on the outer wings, there is various uh, elevators to get you to certain places. But there is also uh, various NPCs, vendors that you may want to make use of. So, for Kaleo... Uh... Grab a street outfit for once. I say I'll probably equip Kalia with a set of armor of her own in the future. Got another experience booster as well. So that small wing there was for people arriving from Huda or from Korriban, the Sith Warrior and Sith Inquisitor prologue world. And welcome to Viacan Space Dock. Plot the map here, as I say, we have your inner ring, which has various hangars if you have your own personal starship. To the right here, 
We have the various class trainers who you used to have to visit to pick your advanced class. So it's the Sith Warrior, Inquisitor, Bounty Hunter, and Agent. The final wing is if you want to change your discipline path. Um, you can do it if you've unlocked the ability from your legacy, or you can go see the NPC over there. In addition, you have a various uh, PvP vendors. So we'll go uh, clockwise around the space dock. For various uh, terminals, we're going to grab the crafting trainer tutorial just for the extra experience. There are various um, crew skills. Some are crafting, some are gathering. Now, I'm not going to be doing any crafting with this character, but I will definitely be doing some gathering. Because when we go on various flashpoints, various dungeons, there are uh, some shortcuts we can take. If you have the correct... Um, crew skill. So I'm going to take slicing, scavenging, and archaeology. Bioanalysis also gives you a one or two um, aids, but nothing I'm really interested in. So if we earn social points to reach social rank one, we will a we will gain. Also, we we can purchase a social badge from an imperial major. Right, social um, is gained from doing flashpoints and other activities with groups of other players, and um, actually choosing dialogue options. So being social. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, um, this is not something we're really going to look into. We have the Stronghold NPC here, if we would like to uh, purchase uh, land for ourselves. And various um, NPCs to furnish your Stronghold. So, if we want a, a house on Nor Shadar, Manan, Dromancast, Alderaan... <laughs> yeah, would you like a house on Alderaan? Yeah, let's don't speak about what's going to happen in 3,500 years. Do, 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 do. We have an elevator down here. Leads us down to the Cartel Bazaar. There is a marketplace there where you can trade uh, for various customizable bits of equipment. Uh, like different armor sets, but you have to have a certain reputation with different vendors. Reputation we can always look at in the future. This is the Galactic Trade Corner, where if we want to buy or sell items from other players, we can uh, place them on the kiosk here. There's also various NPCs to buy upgrades for your starship. We have the Mission Departures Elevator. When we go to do some flashpoints in the future, uh, we will want to go through this elevator to get our mission briefings to find out what the situations are. We'll probably be doing a few flashpoints in our time. And here is the supply section. Now, I'm probably not going to need the supply section anymore. But I used to have to um, buy item modifications. As you leveled up your character, you could buy item mods all the way up to level 70, I believe, now. Yep. Looking to upgrade your arsenal? Obviously, the higher level, the higher rating, the item mods Good were. Hunting. The more stats, more attributes they would actually give you. And then at level 75, you could spend a unique resource known as Tech Fragments to buy level 75 gear. 
Now, actually, I wonder if I can transfer that gear from Nola, since we are playing as a sniper. And she's a gunslinger. I can probably borrow her gear. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to. Uh, it's been six months. I haven't touched Nola probably in seven months now. Um, I haven't looked at Endgame gear in a long time. I'll have to have a look into that. I'll, I'll do that probably in, in the near future. Either way, this is the Drum and Caster Parches Elevator. And there are two routes to get to the capital of the Imperial Worlds. We have this uh, valet here who will tell us about tell us all about them. Mem amak kupka kramanik umlu kiga mayamak nulilak apajam kamgam amka nem nang ampa nem nang memua inok laporam amka mamni nikag nagnaya mamni kamgam. That's good news. Nane kari maraka amkam ja uklibik me marak nebab ja kipemguana. Now this valet explains the situation a hell of a lot better than the valet for the Republic side. Basically what he's trying to tell us is there's a personal shuttle. It goes very slowly, but you'll encounter no danger, but you'll arrive on Drum and Cass in several days. But there has been a berth arranged for us, though who arranged it is classified. It is considerably faster, it's an Imperial frigate. But it goes through some dangerous territory. The Black Talon is a player of the Imperial side's first flashpoint. Back in the day, it was, it's a very long flashpoint compared to some of the others in the future. But it was a good way to gain social points because there's a lot of dialogue that um, you have to go through. So you had a lot of social interaction. Whereas later flashpoints... There may be one or two instances of conversation. Whereas on the Black Talon or the Republic's equivalent called the Esselies, there's a lot of talking. But those flashpoints both take, give or take an hour. Whereas a normal flashpoint later on is going to be about 15, 20 minutes. Because it's just pure action. And you get to make maybe one dialogue option. <laughs> Either way, we'll take a break here. Um, trying to decide what I'm going to do. Um, I don't think I'll worry about my armor sets right now. When you next see me, uh, actually no, I can't wear these yet. Huh, interesting. Ooh, the light side is growing stronger. When you next see me, we'll be on our way to Drum and Cass. We'll be going through the Black Talon Flashpoint. We'll definitely uh, brave the uh, dangerous waters that the uh, frigate will be going through. But, uh, yeah. There is some armor I would like Fallon to be wearing. But he can't wear it just yet. That's not the end of the world, though. That's not a problem. And that's just for his combat look. I mean, I will be adjusting his combat look. There will be various casual casual looks I will probably use as well. And I am keeping in the back of my mind an idea forwarded by XP Warrior, a viewer on YouTube, mentioning maybe adjusting armor for different weather conditions. I may not be so dedicated to that, but I would like the idea of maybe having a few outfit ideas for this character. Especially since I've come back after a bit of a break. So it's nice and fresh once again. I'm actually enjoying this so far. I will be honest, uh, since we're just winding down. Drome and Cass will make or break this series for me. I always say it um, on each series. Getting through the prologue worlds tends not to be a problem. Spending time on Drum and Cass or Coruscant tends to decide whether or not I'm going to continue the series. 
for the Republic side, Taris is also a bit of a chew on, but I quite en enjoy our time on the world we'll visit after Droman Cass. But either way, thank you all for joining me. Uh, that's not the button I want to press again. God damn it! There you go, better. Thank you all for joining me. Sincerely, I hope you're enjoying the series as far, well, as much as I am. <laughs> Despite only watching it, I understand. Feel free to comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.